unpredictable couples will be competing to win on the new newlywed game. And now, here's the star of the new newlywed game, Bob Eubank! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Well, you've probably heard there's going to be a big change on the newlywed game. Well, there is. I've decided to leave the show. You see, for the past 22 years, I've had the pleasure of bringing the humor of thousands of couples into your living room. And for that, I want to say thank you very much. I've had a wonderful time. But now it's time for me to go on and do other things. I want to produce some movies with my kids. I have a new game show that's going to begin in September of 1989. And it's just time to do something different. So the producers have found a young man who is going to bring his very own unique qualities and humor to the show. He's one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet and one of the nicest guys. And I want you to meet him right now. He's a good friend of mine, and he will soon become a very good friend of yours. He's the host of the newlywed game, the new host, Mr. Paul Rodriguez. Paul? All right, my friend. Boy, well, you look stiffy. Well, yeah, you look great. I yeah. took some pointers from you. Yeah, you look like like you're supposed to look. That's that's wonderful. Any, there, anything you want to leave me with? Uh... Well, yeah, there, there's a couple of things you need to learn to say. For instance, let me hear you say, uh, okay, couples, here's our 25-point bonus question. Bueno, couples, aquí tenemos las cuestiones del 25 bonus. Well, we have some work, but he's going to do great. Now, I've got a, we got a new set for you. I want you to meet the couples, and I want to show you a couple of things up there. So why don't we go up there and take a look at your new set? Come on, that's Paul, let's go. Right. Set. Isn't this something? This is a new set. And a lot of people have asked me, where is the band? Yeah. Oh, this is the band. Here's the band. So the band oh. will always, always play you on. Now, I got other things I want to show you. Over here is your podium. See? You can lean against it. You can sit on it and do anything you want. Uh, there's a couple of things. I, I usually run four or five minutes over. So this is this will help you. If you happen to get in too deep, you know, I've always used these. These or are if worth... you meet a girl you don't know that well. That, that'll work too, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you ever need me, I would just want you to pick up this phone and call my number. One, two, No, 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 no. <laughs> now, we've also got snacks for you. If you get bored, we have, we have ding-dongs. Uh, we just have snacks. We have lunch. Hey, what was this for? Uh... Well, oh no, they wouldn't. Uh, the question we couldn't use. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over the last 22 years, I've gathered a lot of a lot of things. Uh, I was always hoping that the Tysons would come on the show. So, uh, get this, you see? Sometimes the couples get a little angry, and I've had the, the need of wearing a hard hat. You see, so these are all of my all of my. Uh, That's more me. Yeah, that's more you than me. So why don't we put that over here? Anyway, now there, there's more. Come over here. I want to show you. Now. I, I, I want you to meet the couples, because the couples are really what's important, because you have to ask them questions. You know that part. Okay. Okay, so here's what I usually would do. I would say, uh, uh, couple number one, he's a security agent. She sells stocks and bonds. They've been married three months. And they are Alexander and Parveen Porsche. All right. See, that's couple number one. Couple number two, he's a media planner. She's a medical biller. They've been married four months. This is Matthew and Kelly Hughes. Matthew and Kelly, how are you? You meet Paul? A couple number three, uh, he's a patent lawyer. Watch those attorneys. Oh. Yes. And she sells cars. Watch the used car salesman, too. They've been married five months. J.D. and Beth Harriman. That's couple number three. All right? Now, those are your newlywed couples. This is your podium. That's your phone. Any questions? No. Well, I have some. These are your questions. And what you do now is you're going to have to get rid of the ladies and then ask the questions. And then when the ladies come back, be sure to ask the same three questions, otherwise no one gets anything right, you understand? Okay. Okay. Good luck, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank Paul you. Rodriguez, the new host of New Game. Bye-bye. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to just say that anyone that's done anything for 22 years must have done it very, very, very good. here get out of here we're gonna talk to the fellas we're gonna get to know them a lot better than I had planned 
Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions. And remember, you're, you're predicting what your wife will say. These questions are worth five points. And here we go. My first question ever. I'm excited. <laughs> guys, if the U.S. Weather Service broadcast a report, like, right from your bedroom last night, would they have reported a heat wave, stormy weather, or a cold snap? Uh, let's start off with, uh, start off with you. Cold snap. A cold snap. Okay, Matthew? Yeah, I'd say a cold snap also. It was a little bit frigid in there last night. And Alex? I'd have to say a heat wave. A oh, heat wave! Yes! <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> okay, guys, question number two. Which female member of your wife's family would make the best Elvis look-alike. <laughs> now, I, I really need you to be specific, first names only, and let's start off with you, J.D. Nelda. Nelda. She looks just like Elvis. She has the hips. She Matthew? has the moves. Yeah, I'm going to say Rose. Rose? Yeah, she moves a lot like Elvis. And Alex? I'm going to have to say Velma. Ma and Velma. Velma? Yeah. All right, thank you, guys. Hey, we're going to return with the wives right after these messages. and our wives have rejoined their hubbies and guys have the answers right in front of them okay remember girls these are the five point questions ladies if the u.s weather service broadcast a report right from your bedroom last night would they have reported a stormy weather a cold snap or a heat wave let's start off with you parvin last night it was a heat wave oh heat wave he said that's right that's right have you been having this kind of weather lately? Yeah. I tell you, sometimes I'm so good, I can't stand myself. <laughs> okay, we'll move on away from Mr. Modest here. <laughs> Kelly, what kind of uh, storm or weather have you been having? Last night it definitely had to be stormy weather. We had the worst fight we have ever had in our entire life. Over what? He said I didn't have a sense of humor. No, it was her cooking. I said she I said she wasn't spending enough time in the kitchen, but it was only a joke and she took it wrong. No, no. I didn't take yeah, it and, wrong. And I ended up walking, walking like five miles home. She booted me out of the car. Oh. <laughs> so Matthew said. Well, obviously it was rather cold outside oh, last cold. night. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Beth? What kind of weather was at your house? Definitely a cold snap. Cold snap for any particular reason? Hold on, please, J.D. <laughs> oh, just... We want to get all the trash out. <laughs> well, he want all the dirt, all the stuff. Yeah. Well, no, he's been working a lot. I don't work a lot. So I come home, I'm ready to do stuff. He comes in, like, what's for dinner? What are we doing? Let's go to bed. Isn't that sexy? And... <laughs> well, J.D.'s told us that you were having a cold snap. Yeah! Maybe, maybe you all uh, ought to move in with the Porsches over here. No change the climate. Okay, ladies, the next five-point question is, which female member of your family would make the best Elvis look-alike? Beth? Of, of both of our of families or just family. my family? Yes. Well, that would have to be my mother because she's... Well, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, she's the only... She's got black hair. She, she, she fluctuates in her weight, and she's, she's kind of... Well, no, no. She's, not, that, she's the only one I can think of. Honey, come on and get your breakfast. <laughs> no, no. J.D. told us... No. Nelda. That's my mom. That's everybody else. I need you five points. you take now? Pardon? Um, I would have to say my mother. She's heavy like Elvis was, and uh, so I will need a new mother after this, but my mom. Well, see, I love you, Mom. I love you. Okay? My Aunt Velma. I'm sorry. Yeah, I love you, Mom. See, I'm cooking out for you here. She's out to get you. Remember, I was I'll cook up for you now. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kelly. I'm going to have to say my mother because I don't have any sisters and he doesn't know any of my relatives. I mean, female relatives, so it's got to be my mom, Rose. Matthew said? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is Rose. And you have five points. We'll be back with just the girls to see how well they predict what their husbands are going to say right after these very nice messages. favorite part of the show with the girls. All right, girls, now your husbands are gone, and it's your turn to guess what they will say. Each of these questions will not be worth 10 points. Not counting yourself, how many other women has your husband turned to and said, honest, I love you? Okay, let's start off with you, Kelly. I'm going to have to say three. Um, his mom, his sister, his and both of his sisters. Safe answer, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I don't know his other girlfriend. Zero. I was the first and I'm the last. You naive! And if he gets this wrong, zero. I miss. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> Beth? Oh, that's easy. It was one. Her name was Linda Meet Nemo. Oh, the girl. Oh. We can. Okay. Next thing you know, you'll give us her social security number. Oh, can I say what her nickname was? Uh, just the number. One is fine. One. She was fine. the head major rat. Good. <laughs> Okay, for your next 10-point question, complete the sentence. Hey, you don't really know what Looney Tunes means until you've seen my husband do what, Parvin? Um, dance. He dances. He used to dance on a show, and he dances wild and crazy, so. Good. Uh, Beth? Wash the dishes. <laughs> He's hysterical. He does it just like a woman. He gets everything all laid out, turns on the music, gets the, the, the phone next to him, does everything, gets everything all set up. He's all happy to do the dishes. Then I start the washer. Then I get on the phone and ruin everything for him. Poor guy. <laughs> Kelly? I'm going to have to say my husband loves to tape record himself, well, video himself. <laughs> and he does this while he is in the shower. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait. Hey, he wait a minute. Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> This isn't a cable show. He doesn't show his body, he just... Save that thought till he comes back, okay? <laughs> Ladies, this is your 25-point bonus question. So listen carefully, please. Ladies, most of the time when your husband kisses you on the lips, is it a tiny peck, a short smack, or a sloppy smooch? <laughs> Beth? A short smack. A short smack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kelly? Short smack. Short smack? A sloppy smooch. Oh, yeah. with the husbands to compare answers here on the newlywed game right after these messages. Okay. Okay, now victims, I mean husbands, let's see how well your wives have guessed what you will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. Guys, not counting your wife, how many other women have you turned to and said, I love you. We'll start off with Matthew. I'm going to say three. Three. Yeah. Well, gee, that's odd because Kelly said three. <laughs> okay, uh, and how many have you told you love, J.D.? Told it and meant it? <laughs> <laughs> Something. Uh, or just to get something. Look, you think about that. I'm going to go to the fridge. Uh, yeah, so we need a number. How many? Okay, well, there's my little button. She was a cutie. Uh, I would say uh, Beth would think uh, three also. Three? Guess what? Beth thought three? Uh, one. Yeah. Only one. Only one. What? How old are the other two? Yeah. She thinks I'm a loser. She's always thought that. No, just because when I met you, I called you a nerd, and now you're proving it. Only one button. Button, button, button. Miss Major Rat. Well, these are all I heard about. Okay, and uh, Alex? Now, see, I know you think I'm, you know, the playboy. I'm going to have five, six million. No. Oh, you're the one having all that heat waves. I'll tell you the truth. The only woman I ever told I love is my wife. She's the only one that's been able to make my toes tingle. 
That's it. What's the number then? None. Zero. That's two points. That's right. My baby knows me. <laughs> Ladies, I mean, gentlemen, here's the next 10 point question. How did your wife complete this sentence? Hey, you don't really know what Looney Tunes is until you've seen my husband do what? What haven't we seen you do, JD? Uh, maybe the dishes. <laughs> I say, because I get all set up with my music, I have the. I have the cordless phone there to talk to my buddy Gary, and I'm just ready to do the dishes and, and rock oh, and roll. Stand up and give us a dish dance. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know that Beth told us the dishes. Yeah. You don't have any dish dancing, do you? But uh, what, would, what would that be, Alex? No dish dancing. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to say, um, my stage. Me actually getting on stage. It has to be the, the most, uh, the ridiculous thing, you know, that I've uh, done. Yeah, okay, I got a mouthful for that one. Right? That's two things now because Parvin said. Dance. Dance. Oh, oh no. This so drink. Yes, we're giving it to you right now. Ah, yeah, see them Soul Train days paid off. Hey, <laughs> Don! <laughs> Matthew? Okay, well, I, th I think she's going to say that I, I kind of prance around the apartment in doing this dance with, like, the pelvic type thrust. In well, where would you do this? I, I parade around the entire apartment. Um, mostly it's done in the living room. In the living room? Well, we also know, because Kelly told us, uh, there's a video company you have in the bathroom with uh, yourself. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. <laughs> I, I mean, one time, one time I, I put the video on the tripod and I was shaving and, you know, I had a little funk going on and I just... <laughs> I gave him a show. Uh, what, come on, what kind of but, dance do you do? Now, uh, J.D. danced for us, so it's only well, fair, you know, Matthew, that you give us, give us that little prance. <laughs> come on, all three. As a matter of fact, all three of you are dancers. Get on up. back with our 25 point bonus questions here on the gang show to see to see which of our couples is going to win our grand prize but first we're going to hear these words from our very own charlie o'donnell tell them what we got well, some members of our studio audience will receive the westinghouse 1.3 cubic foot capacity microwave oven which offers an automatic temperature probe for worry-free cooking electronic touch controls and 10 power select settings furnished by white westinghouse and now here's paul all right, guys, here's your 25-point bonus question. Most of the time when you kiss your wife on the lips, is it a short smack, a sloppy smooch, or a tiny peck? Matthew and Kelly, you have 15 points. 25 points would give you 40 points. It's definitely a short smack. A short smack. Kelly said... A short smack, yes! J.D. and Beth, you have 20 points. 25 points will give you 45 points. What's it going to be? A short but very sweet smack. <laughs> Chad said yes, a short but very sweet smack. 45 points. Now, the, the overheated family here, 25 points you already have. 25 more points will give you 50 points. What's it going to be? I'd have to say a little pick. Oh. A little, if it lasts any longer than that... Wait a minute. The last, no, wait a minute. The last three years. Yeah, okay. If it lasts any longer than that, and I'm sorry, you We're know, done. you're going to have to break your hot plate. It's going to get it busy. <laughs> Five and said a sloppy smooch, which means that J.D. and Beth, you're our grand prize winner for today. Charlie O'Donnell, tell them what they won. Beth and J.D., it's a fabulous new living room for your home. Starting with Roy Hill's lovely sofa and love seat with shaped arms attached back and deep seat cushions covered in a stunning Jacquard stripe with three Queen Anne cherry tables furnished by Broyhill. Hill.
Plus, Color Time's VCR with full function remote control, easily programmable to record up to a week in advance, furnished by Color Time Rent to Own Systems. And Color Time's remote control console color TV with convenient VCR storage behind glass doors, furnished by Color Time Rent to Own Systems. Retail value of this fabulous new living room is $3,636. It's all yours from the newlywed game. Thank you very much. Please join us tomorrow here on the Newlywed Game. Thank you for tuning in and thank you, couple. Up for today, we'll receive Tarquette Lifetime 12 foot wide, no wax inlaid vinyl flooring, seamless installation in most rooms, and a limited lifetime warranty. Or, little people come to life on video cassettes. Delightful stories, entertaining lessons for ages two to six from New World Video. Or, Miss Lee, smaller size Lee press on nails in teen and pre teen fun colors. Miss Lee press on nails. Or, when Mother Nature calls your kitty, you want America's number one premium cat litter. Johnny Cat and a little privacy is all any cat needs. Or, Fix-A-Flat seals and inflates flat tires in seconds without jacks or tire changing. Fix-A-Flat. It's quick and easy to use. Or, choose an Armatron watch for work, dress, and play. Beautiful diamond watches, water-resistant, all sport and fun fashion watches, Armatron. Baby, 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 I love you, yes I do. And it's the wind that's through. Everybody there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh